Welcome to examsavi.com. In this tutorial, we'll see the video for basic electronics. So, this is the topic what I'm going to see in this video. It's an introduction to electronics. In this video, the topics to be covered are what is electricity? What's mean by voltage? What's mean by current? And what is resistance? And what's mean by Ohm's law? And capacitors. These are the topics the video covers. And finally, inductors. So we'll see what is mean by an electricity. Electric electricity is nothing but a flow of electric charge. So in this, everything is made up of atoms. But atom is a small part of each element. There are totally 118 elements of an atom in a single part. Atom consists of electrons, protons and neutrons. We will see the symbol for an atom. It consists of electrons, protons and nucleus. Electrons, negatively charged electrons. Protons, positively charged one. Neutrons, it is neutrally charged and it is a central place called nucleus. So electricity is nothing but a flow of electric charge. We have seen all those things right now. And what is mean by voltage? Voltage is defined as electric potential in the ratio of charge. So it is called voltage. We have battery with positive terminal and negative terminal. When there is a difference in charge between each terminal, then it is called as voltage. It is generally called as electric potential. This will be labeled in units of volts. The unit of voltage is volt. So we'll see this symbol for voltage in case of cell and battery. These are all the examples for voltage. Now a DC voltage and AC voltage will be represented. Here it is a DC voltage that will be represented like plus and minus. And AC voltage will be represented as a wave. So it indicates it's a AC voltage source. The symbols how we are going to use a voltage. If it is a unipolar, we have seen the examples like cell battery before itself. These are all the examples for voltage. Here cell is cell and battery are unipolar. So the symbol will be like this. It is plus and minus. And we have plus minus plus minus. It is in case of ba battery. And we have supply power supplies like plus 5 volt, plus or minus 5 volt, AC or DC. And we have once again bipolar AC. The, those symbols will be represented like this. And the property of voltage will be a constant voltage and it will be independent of current. So it is usually called as idle. So these are all the examples for voltage like battery, power supply, signal generator, how the voltage will be there. Current. Current is nothing but a flow of electrons in a circuit. There will be a uniform flow of electrons. If it is there, then it is current. So the electron flow notation, we have a direction. If the electric charge moves from negative to, if the charge moves from negative side of the battery, this is the battery, when the electrons move from negative side towards positive, then it is called electron flow notation. It's an electron flow notation. So opposite of this electron flow notation is conventional flow notation. If it starts flowing from positive side towards negative side, then it is conventional flow notation of current. Resistance. Resistance which is used to oppose the flow of current. So resistance is the opposition that is substance which offers the flow of current. If, if it opposes the flow of current, then it is resistance. And 
we have resistivity a term that is nothing but the electrical resistance per unit length area any cross sectional area or a volume of substance then it is called electrical resistivity resistance is represented in terms of ohm ohm is the unit so here i have taken an example of water flow so if the water flows like this and how resistance and how resistance is opposing the flow of current in this water so it's a just an example how a resistance works and some symbols for resistance are here fixed value resistor if it is fixed value resistor the symbol will be like this this is circuit symbol and this is the general symbol how we are representing a resistor and we have variable resistor variable resistor called rheostat potentiometer and preset in variable we have three cases that is rheostat potentiometer and preset these are the symbols how we are using for resistance so the resistance in general in practical case it will look like this so if we have colors like red blue green then we are assuming some values it is based on like this here i have taken four band color code here four colors i have red green orange and gray so based on the colors we are fixing a value to resistor so if red is there the value 2 will be selected if gray is there the value 8 will be selected based on the colors the value will be selected here the picture shows the value for each colors ohms law ohms law is nothing but when the current is flowing in a conductor that will be directly proportional to voltage difference between its ends so it is directly the current is directly proportional to a differential potential that is ohms law at steady temperature at constant steady temperature the definition will works so it is represented by a formula v equal to ir voltage is directly proportional to current and resistance here the diagram indicates the voltage is directly proportional to current and resistance capacitance the main use of capacitance is to store a small amount of charge it will be in the form of electrical form electrical charge the unit for this capacitance is farad symbols how we are representing for capacitor is fixed in case of non polarized and fixed in case of polarized so there is a thick line if it is non polarized and there will be a thin line if it is polarized and we have variable too it has two cases like variable and preset this are the practical capacitors what we are using in our day to day life for storing in capacitor we have like charging and discharging here there is a two plates and how we are storing a charge like plus plus and minus minus in between there is a insulated material and how it works for charging and discharging inductance inductance is just a positive capacitance here it stores a small amount of charge in terms of magnetic field so it is a passive electronic component that stores energy in the form of magnetic field unit for inductance is henry and how inductance looks the schematic symbol for inductance is there is a current flow from a to b and it 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 looks like a coil like a rotational coil here i have taken one example solenoid how a coil is there so if coil is there then it is inductance air core solenoid thank you for watching this video